I'm one of the emergency medicine ultrasound faculty. This is Adarsh. She's a medical student. Um, and we're going to do cardiac ultrasound. So we're just going to talk about probe position and the uh, views that you're going to get. So for cardiac, we use the phase array. Uh, we also call it our cardiac probe. Um, it's uh, 5 megahertz, and it has this narrow footprint that you can get in between the rib spaces. The indicator is here on the side. Uh, when we do cardiac, we want to make sure the machine is in cardiac preset, which flips our indicator from the patient's right to the patient's left. We're going to start off in subxiphoid with our indicator towards the patient's left. And we want to be in the subxiphoid area. We'll get our subxiphoid view. After we get that view, um, just make sure that when you're doing that view that sometimes you have to shallow your probe like this. So you don't want to make, you want to make sure that you're not up like this looking at the aorta. Think about where your probe is looking. So we're here. Then we will move up to the um, patient's left chest. It's usually in guys, it's about the uh, nipple line. It's going to be about the fourth or fifth intercostal space. And you want to have just to the uh, left of the sternum, you want your indicator probe towards the patient's right shoulder. So we're going to have it very perpendicular. You want to make sure that your depth is good on the ultrasound machine so you're not missing anything posteriorly because this is the view that we're going to use to look at LV function with this. We can assess for pericardial effusions with this. We can um, uh, look for pleural effusions. You're going to see your descending aorta in this view posteriorly and that's going to be your landmark for uh, pericardial and pleural fluid. Anything above the descending aorta would be considered a pericardial fluid. Anything below the descending aorta would be considered pleural fluid. So once we have that view with our indicator towards the um, right shoulder, we're going to take it and rotate it clockwise with the indicator towards the patient's left shoulder. And this will give us the short axis view. And usually when you turn for the short axis view, you're going to see the mitral valve, which is obviously... You're going to, above it would be atrium and below it would be ventricle. So if we're looking at the mitral valve, then we want to look down towards the patient's left hip to try to get the papillaries in view. So once you have the papillaries in view, then you've, um, you're adequately in the mid left ventricle. So after we've done the short axis view, then we want to go to the um, four chamber view, which is going to be in the um, point of maximal impulse, so your PMI and you want to have the indicator towards the patient's left axilla down towards the bed and you want to look up towards the patient's right shoulder. Now most of the time our patients are supine and we can't roll them for whatever reason. Um, however, if we're able to roll them, then we can have the patient roll on their left side. If you'll just do that just a little bit. And then you can either from this view or I can come around the other way and this just brings the heart closer to the um, chest wall and allows us to get a better view. So we have a lot of COPD patients, uh, a lot of obese patients, a lot of patients that have um, had lung resections and stuff like that. So just in particular um, for subxiphoid, when we're in the subxiphoid area and we have somebody that's you know obese and their abdomen is very um, protuberant, um, then you want to make sure that you have them take a deep breath. You can also kind of use both hands and kind of, you know, press your entire probe down. Um, but having them take a deep breath will bring the heart down towards your probe, which will a lot of times um, make it easier to get the view that you're trying to get. Same thing with COPD patients, if you have them take a deep breath. Same thing with normal patients, really. For parasternal lung, um, if the patient's had a lung resection, let's say they've had a left lung resection, then the heart may be more over to the left side. If they've had a right lung resection, then the heart may be more over to the right. So you may have to adjust your placement of the probe. It'll four chamber view um, when we have our uh, indicator towards the left axilla or down towards the bed. Um, a lot of times in our patients with COPD, um, you know, we may be able to get a view here, but sometimes we'll have to slide around and we'll be very anterior to get our view because it makes the heart more vertical. If they're obese, um, the heart may be more um, horizontal. These are just special cases to think about. It may uh, change the position of your probe in getting cardiac um, views adequately.